Bernard Khoury is a man with a vision. After receiving a Master of Architectural Studies degree at Harvard University in 1993, he decided to come back to his home country, Lebanon. The Arab nation had barely come out of a 15-year civil war, and it seemed the most unlikely place to begin a career. We had a lot of hopes in the early 90s, uh, hopes for rebuilding a nation. Uh, and this is beyond just the field of construction, building a nation in the sense of, um, in the very broad sense of the term. And obviously this uh, comes with a lot of challenges. Inspired by the political, social, and cultural complexities of Beirut, the Lebanese architect doesn't shy away from projects that require him to come face to face with the sometimes harsh reality. At the time Yabani was built uh, on what was still looked like a demarcation line. The building next door was still squatted by people who were living without handrails, without windows, uh, without running water. They were basically squatters living off two, three hundred dollars a month. When we erected right next to it, shoulder to shoulder, a monument to eating sushi at fifty dollars a pop. There's something disturbing about that. But this is a situation that is there. One of his earlier projects would be O18, a nightclub that was built in Carantina, a place where Palestinian refugees used to reside. BO18 has become one of the most popular Lebanese attractions. There is a great pleasure when you when you see the results. If you look at B018, which was my, which was my first project, I think that the, what really what touches me most is leaving this place or, or driving by this place at five, six, seven in the morning and listening to the beats, to the life coming out of that hole in this dead zone because the quarantine is a, is a doomed area. It has a very dark past. But we've been able to bring life to this territory. So I don't look at it as, uh, as purely a project of um, provocation or resistance or a monument to war. Touching thing to me is to see that there's something very positive that happened. What would you like to be remembered as? I won't be remembered by the kids who, who are going to wake up, uh, slide, their, uh, slide their door and walk on their balconies and you know, have their memories of these great instances they've had, walking, climbing on their facade to, uh, to go reach their parents' bedrooms. You know? um, that's how I want to be remembered. Not as somebody who uh, imprisoned them in dark corridors, uh, in buildings where you walk out of your elevator at noon on August 15 and you've got to turn on the light to open your door. That's criminal, and I don't do this. Staying faithful to his roots, Bernard Khoury achieved what many only hope for. In the grim, he found light, and for that, he's an inspiration to artists everywhere reaching out for a dream.